The following video will show you how to set up the Falcon GSM communicator to work with the DC Neo panel. Make sure that the Falcon unit has a firmware version of 4.13 or later. Connect the Falcon to the DC Neo panel through the serial port PC Link 2 using the serial cable and adapter mark DC Neo provided. Note that the adapter must be connected to the panel serial port with the adapter board facing the front and the black ground wire to the far right. Set the serial port format on the Falcon unit to DSC Neo. To do this, remove power from the Falcon. Hold down the push button and reapply power. Push the button to cycle through the panel serial port format options until you reach the DC Neo format, indicated by small letter D. Release button. The Falcon will remember the new serial port format. Press the asterisk key and 8, and then enter the installer code, the default being 5555, into the keypad to go to the programming menu. Enter 309 to go to the Maintenance Events Receiver options. Press the asterisk key. Use the right arrow key to go to Receiver 4 and disable it. Receiver 4 is enabled by default. Press the hash key twice to go back to the main menu. Enter 310 and press the asterisk key to program the system account code. Example, 1234. Use the right arrow key to go to subsection 001 and press the asterisk key to program the account number for partition 1. Example, 3456. If there is more than one partition, use the right arrow key to go to the next subsection, example 002, and do the same. Repeat these steps for each partition, set up, and once done, press the hash key to return to the main programming menu. Enter 350. Press the asterisk key to go to the communicator format options. Make sure that it is set to contact ID auto, if not, use the right arrow key and press the asterisk key to save. Press the hash key to return to the main programming menu. Enter 380 and enable communications by pressing the asterisk key. Make sure a Y appears, meaning it's enabled. Press the hash key to return to the main programming menu. Enter 382 and enable the alternate communicator by using the arrow keys until you get to option 5 and then press the asterisk key. Make sure Y appears meaning it's enabled. Press the hash key twice to go out of programming mode. Settings are programmed. Reset the whole system by switching off power, AC and battery and switching it on again for the settings to take effect. To connect the panel to the My Falcon app, Go to your phone's App Store, search for My Falcon, and tap Install. Once downloaded, open the app. Scroll through the welcome screens by tapping the arrow and select Get Started. Tap Sign Up and enter your personal details to create an account. Enter a password that is secure 
but one that you will remember and tap Submit. Log in with these new details. After reading through this notification, tap OK. Tap Add Panel. Once you've completed all the steps on the screen, tap Continue. Tap on Scan QR Code and scan the QR code found on the sticker at the back of the Falcon. Tap Confirm. Tap Continue. Tap Tap to set device up. Enter your user code. This is the code you use to arm and disarm your panel on the keypad. My Falcon is just retrieving information from your panel. This should take no longer than 60 seconds. Now at the partition screen where you can perform various actions on your alarm system. To test the app, arm and disarm the panel. Note that if the quick arm feature is enabled in the programming settings of DSC panels, the app can arm the panel even with the wrong pin code, but you cannot disarm it. If the quick arm feature is disabled, you will manage to arm and disarm the panel only when using the correct user code.